Good morning, I'm Rear Admiral Steve Ennewald. I'm the Program Executive Officer for the F-35 Lightning II program. And uh, here to uh, talk to you in our third quarter update. I'm here in Farnborough celebrating the uh, accomplishments of our uh, last year with our international partners and seeing what they're doing, how they're doing, and making sure the program delivers on cost and on schedule. As part of this third quarter update, uh, I wanted to thank everybody for the uh, uh, hard work, accomplishments, long hours, and contributions to the program. I'm off to uh, Pax River in the Naval Air Systems Command, but I leave you with uh, my heartfelt thanks for everything you've done to, uh, to contribute to this uh, magnificent program. Through your efforts, we've been able to turn the dream into uh, design and now into the uh, a, a real airplane that's going to fly this uh, fall. From the beginning, the F-35 was conceived and designed as an international program. The initial partnership with Great Britain and BAE Systems, followed by seven partner countries joining the team, produced a strong international supplier network that is key to the success of the program. 180 companies from the eight international partner countries are competing for more than $50 billion worth of production-related work. Prospects for industrial participation will grow rapidly as sustainment efforts continue to be established. The focus on international participation not only creates new skills and jobs worldwide, but also enhances the best value supplier base, promotes an international market for sales, and establishes global sustainability. One such supplier is Terma AS, one of Denmark's largest defense contractors. Through its main business area, aerospace and defense, Terma develops advanced aerospace technologies, including aerostructures, systems for self-protection, audio, reconnaissance, and command and control, and electronics manufacturing. Terma's electronics manufacturing and service facilities produce state-of-the-art electronic systems while providing full program management support and comprehensive testing facilities. Expertise gained from years of involvement in international military programs gives Terma extensive design to completion capabilities. The Aerostructures facility, located in Grena, manufactures products for military and commercial aircraft customers using modern machining and sheet metal technologies and advanced composite technologies. A long-time supplier for advanced aircraft programs such as the F-16, Terma was recently contracted to produce carbon fiber composite conventional edges for the F-35 horizontal stabilizer. Aerostructures was previously selected to design and manufacture other parts including gun pods, weapons pylons, test pods, and composite panels. Welcome. Welcome to the formal inauguration of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. Wow, if that doesn't get you pumped up, I don't know what does. Uh, what a fantastic looking flying machine and what a special day. What a very special day. Today, Collectively, we put the enemies of peace and freedom on notice. Everything about the F-35's design has been revolutionary from the beginning. This new fighter will take us to new horizons. Ladies and gentlemen, the name for the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter that we've decided is the Lightning II. The Lightning II. Lightning, 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 Lightning II. The first F-35, AA-1, continues to progress on the flight line in preparation for first flight. During the third quarter, the flight line assembly phase continued with completion of the engine connections, the integrated power package, or IPP bay, and the installation of major electrical components. System checkouts began on July 23rd 
and the aircraft completed fuel flushing operations on August 20th. Afterwards, the aircraft was returned to run station number four, where it will stay through first flight. After completing systems checkout procedures, the IPP was successfully run for the first time on September 7th. The IPP is the first major aircraft system installed in AA-1 to be operated. After several successful IPP runs, the engine was started for the first time on September 15th, running at idle power. Following runs increased the power level through mill power, reaching full afterburner on September 18th. This major milestone was reached sooner than in any other modern fighter program. The forward fuselage for BF-1, the first Stobel aircraft, is progressing on schedule and will be moved to the mate fixture in December. At BAE in Salmsbury, England, components of the aft fuselage, which is scheduled for a December delivery to Fort Worth, were loaded into the assembly jig in July. The center fuselage at Northrop Grumman in Palmdale is near completion and will also be shipped to Fort Worth in December for mate with the other major components. This video and the latest news on the F-35 program can also be found at TeamJSF.com.